in the vast space of our solar system, there is an asteroid called Apophis that poses a potential threat to Earth if it were to collide with it, which could have catastrophic consequences. On April 13, 2029, this huge asteroid will pass at an incredibly close distance, just 19,000 miles from Earth's surface, even closer than some satellites. However, uncertainty about whether Apophis will impact Earth in 2068 raises concerns about the possibility of unprecedented devastation and whether we are prepared to deal with such an eventuality. We will explore this issue further. The discovery of Apophis in 2004 was an alarming event, at a time when our understanding of near-Earth objects was still developing and our tools for studying the universe were just beginning to scratch the surface of its mysteries. Astronomers using the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were the first to detect this asteroid, initially designated 2004 MN4, but later renamed Apophis in reference to the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction a name that reflected the concern it would soon generate. Apophis stood out among other asteroids for its considerable size, estimated at approximately 1,200 feet in diameter, making it a significant object among near-Earth asteroids. However, it was not its size that attracted attention, but also its orbit and characteristics, which made it an object of fascination and debate among the scientific community. Astronomers use advanced telescopes equipped with state-of-the-art sensors to detect objects like Apophis, tracking its motion relative to distant stars and calculating its orbits to predict its future trajectory. From the beginning, prominent figures in the field of astronomy such as Neil deGrasse Tyson have recognized the potential implications of an asteroid like Apophis, noting the importance of addressing this type of threat seriously. While many scientists were impressed and immersed in the technical details of the asteroid, Tyson used this platform to discuss the broader implications of these celestial bodies. One of his most remembered comments about this asteroid is, the universe is a deadly place. At every opportunity, it tries to kill us, so does the Earth. But we humans are pretty good at avoiding death. As we explore the mysteries of Apophis, we will discover that the universe has its own surprises. Stay tuned. 2029 at Ticking Time Bomb In a startling revelation, the solar system seems to have a peculiar sense of time. On Friday, April 13, 2029, a major event will occur. Apophis, a huge asteroid approximately 300 meters in diameter, will approach Earth, passing just 19,000 miles from our planet's surface. To put that in perspective, it will be closer than some of our Earth's orbiting satellites. Before panicking, it is essential to note that scientists are confident that Apophis will not collide with Earth during this encounter. Instead, this event represents a unique opportunity for researchers to study near-Earth asteroids. However, as we will explore below, there is an even more disturbing twist to this cosmic story involving the return of Apophis in 2068. Did you know that an object of this size only comes close to Earth once every thousand years? Well, this makes the 2029 event a unique spectacle. Richard Brenzel, a planetary scientist at MIT, highlighted the importance of this event during the International Planetary Defense Academy. He stressed that the size of a proximity of the asteroid would make it so bright that approximately 2 billion people would be able to witness its passage with the naked eye. Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing an asteroid, a relic of the early solar system, passing so close. One of the most intriguing aspects that scientists study is the Yarkovsky effect. This phenomenon is due to the difference in temperature between the daytime and the nighttime phases of the asteroid. The heat emitted by the surface can exert a small force, pushing the asteroid in a particular direction. Although this effect is minuscule, over time it can significantly alter the asteroid orbit. For Apophis, understanding this effect is crucial. Although the trajectory in 2029 is well defined, 
The uncertainties associated with this effect make it difficult to predict the asteroid's trajectory in the distant future. Now, with a decade to prepare for Apophis' approach, scientists are gearing up for its arrival. They are ready to collect as much data as possible, not only to improve our understanding of Apophis, but also to better understand other potentially hazardous asteroids. After all, Apophis is believed to be similar to 80% of all the potentially hazardous asteroids identified so far. But there is an idea to ponder. What if we could study Apophis up close? Researchers are currently studying the possibility of sending spacecrafts to observe the asteroid before, during, and after its close encounter in 2029. What if the 2029 approach doesn't mark Earth's only encounter with Apophis? The year 2068 is on the minds of many astronomers and space enthusiasts. But why? Because it is the year in which there are a chance that Apophis will collide with our planet. This is where the concept of keyhole comes in. You can imagine it like throwing a stone into a pond. If you throw it with a specific angle and velocity, it might bounce back once or several times before sinking. Similarly, a gravitational keyhole is a region of space through which a celestial object, such as an asteroid, passes, where the Earth's gravity could alter its trajectory. In the case of Apophis, if it passes through a specific keyhole during its passage in 2029, it could be put on a collision course in 2068. Now, let's consider the implications of such an impact. What would happen if an asteroid the size of Apophis were to collide with Earth? Upon impact, the area near the point of collision would experience catastrophic devastation. Traveling at speeds of several kilometers per second, the asteroid would release energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. This would result in the formation of a huge crater potentially several kilometers in diameter. The heat generated would be so intense that it would instantly vaporize both the asteroid and a significant portion of the Earth's crust at the impact site. This would result in the ejection of molten rock and debris into the atmosphere, forming a gigantic fireball that would consume everything in its path. If Apophis were to impact ocean or a sea, the consequences would be even more devastating. The collision would trigger huge tsunamis with waves that could reach heights of hundreds of meters. These waves would propagate throughout ocean basins, wrecking havoc on coastal cities and towns. In addition, the force of the impact would trigger seismic activity, which could generate earthquakes thousands of kilometers away from the impact site, affecting regions that are not accustomed to such events. The repercussions of the impact would have a long-term global effect, as a large amount of debris thrown into the atmosphere would block sunlight, causing a phenomenon known as impact winter. This phenomenon could last for months or even years, causing a drastic drop in temperatures around the world. Now, if you liked the video, remember to hit the like button, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.